WGN's Rob Sneed has their story. These little girls saw the destruction happening in the Ukraine and they wanted to give back. And so right now they're they're making these bracelets to raise money for children in need. They say you're never too young to give back. Families divided, lives destroyed and children dying. Images like these from Ukraine has sent shockwaves throughout the world. It makes me feel sad for the people in the Ukraine because they're suffering from something that they couldn't even choose to happen. It makes me feel sad to hear that some kids have to leave their homes and that their country is being, like, destroyed. Can someone help me find the J? I found a J. This group of second grade girls said they had to step up and help. They gave themselves a cool name, Giving Girls. One by one, they painstakingly made yellow and blue rainbow loom bracelets. Over 400. They're doing this to help children in Ukraine. Oh, you're doing the doubles way. The goal was to raise $150 for UNICEF, but they say they've raised more than $13,600. Rainbow Loom donated $2,000 for the cause. I want to say thank you because all of them have helped us raise so much money for the kids in the Ukraine that really need our help. A spokesperson with UNICEF sent WGN a statement that reads in part, quote, working with partners, UNICEF teams in Ukraine will be delivering medical supplies to 22 hospitals in five different conflict affected areas of Ukraine to benefit 20,000 children and mothers. We're so beyond devastated and cannot fathom what they're going through and that you're waking up one day and having your world, you know, turned into war and losing family members. It's beyond imagination. I really hope the people in the Ukraine are safe now and that the war ends soon. As these little girls continue to work towards their goal, their parents ask if anyone wants to help, donate directly to UNICEF on behalf of Giving Girls. If you're one of the Ukraine kids or people that had to evacuate, I hope, I hope you are safe right now. And for more information on their calls, you can go on our website at WGNTV.com. Reporting in Clarendon Hills, Rob Sneed, WGN News.